Hi everybody, welcome back. My name is Mrs Harris. At the end of the last lesson, you was asked to make a 5p shop. Did you do that? I did. I had something for 35p, 20p, 90p, 5p, and something for 15p. When we were playing shops, we had to work out how many 5p coins we would need to buy things. How many 5p coins would I need to buy this banana? Pause the video and have a little think. That's right, we could count in fives to find out. We could use our five pence coins to count in fives. Will you do it with me? Five, 10, 15. My banana was 15p. How many coins have I got here? That's right, there's three. I would need three five pence coin to buy my banana for 15 pence. Let's review that together with the use of our stem sentences. I'd like you to say it after me. The cost is 15p. Each coin has a value of 5p. Your turn. We would need three coins. Thanks for helping me out with that problem. Now you've got your shop, you can play with it whenever you like. So today I have two purses, purse A and purse B. Which purse would you rather have? Pause the video and have a think. Okay. Which purse would you rather have? Can you tell me why you'd rather have that purse? If you can't tell me why, pause the video again and have a little think about why you'd rather have that purse. Okay, let's go through the problem together. As we work out which purse we'd rather have together, I think we should look at purse A first. Did you notice which coins we're in purse A. That's right, they're five pence coins. Remember, I see five pence, but I think five, one, penny. How many coins are in here all together? That's right, there's six. Did you just see it? Well done, but let's count them together. One, two, three, four, five, Six. Each coin has a value of, yeah, each coin has a value of 5p. So what is the value of this set altogether? We could count in fives. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. Let's put all this information together into our stem sentences. This is 30p. Let's use our stem sentences together to work out how we arrived at knowing this set is 30p. There are six coins. Each coin has a value of 5p. This is 30p. So now we know that purse A has a value of 30p. We can put that one down. But remember its value. What was it? Yeah, 30p. Now we know the value of the set in purse A. Let's have a look at purse B. It's heavier than purse A. Here it is. What type of coins have I got in purse B? That's right, they're all two pence coins. Remember, I see two pence, 
but I think two one pennies. How many two pence coins have I got in here? Did you have time to count them? That's right, there's 10. There are 10 two pence coins. Each has a value of 2p. So what is the value of this set all together? I'd like you to pause the video now and count them in twos. Great counting in twos. Did you get 20 just like I did? Yeah, purse B is 20p. Let's put all the information we have into our stem sentences together. Can you say them after me like you have been? There are 10 coins. Each coin has a value of 2p. This is 20p. Brilliant. We know the value of the coins in purse B is 20p. Now we've looked at both purses individually, we can pop our purses back together to help us answer the question, which purse would you rather have? Well, I'm looking at these two purses and, well, in purse A, I've only got six coins and purse B, I've got 10 coins. I know that 10 is greater than six, so surely there's more in purse B. What do you think? No. Oh, we worked out there was 30p in purse A and 20p in purse B. But did you notice we had fewer coins in purse A, but a greater value? The total was greater. That's because each coin has a greater value. The total purse value is greater in purse A than purse B. So if we wanted more money, we would want purse A. Thanks for helping me with that problem. It's your turn now. Which purse would you rather have? Have a little look at the two purses. What's the same as last time? That's right, we still have five pence coins and two pence coins. What's different? That's right, we have a different number of coins in each purse. So, what's the total of each purse? Pause the video while you work it out, then we'll have a look at it together. Let's look at purse A together first. Each coin has a value of 5p. Remember, I see 5 pence, but I think 5 1 pennies. So what are we going to count in? That's right, fives. Are you ready? 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. This is 25p. Now let's look at purse B. Each coin has a value of, yeah, each coin has a value of 2p. So what are we going to count in? Twos, well done. Two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22. So purse B, this is 22P. So we know now that purse A has a value of 25P and purse B has a total value of 22p. But did you notice 
Purse A has less coins than in purse B. Can you remember why that was? That's right. It's because each coin had a greater value in purse A. So if we want to have the greater amount of money, the more money, we want to have purse A. Is that what you thought? Well done. Here's two more purses. And my question remains the same. Which purse would you rather have? What's the same as last time? That's right, we've still got five peas and two peas. What's different? That's right, we've got different number of coins. Let's find out the values of each set. Let's look at purse A first. There are two coins. Each coin has a value of 5p. We can count in fives again to find out how much this is all together. I bet some of you already know the answer. 5, 10. That's right, this set is 10p. Let's look at purse B now. Okay, there are one, two, three, four, five coins. Okay, so there's five coins. Each coin has a value of 2p. I can count in twos. Will you count in twos for me? Two, four, six, eight, ten. The total is 10p. Let's compare the two purses. We found out that purse A has a total value of 10p. Hmm. We also found out that purse B had a total value of 10p. So which purse would you rather have? <laughs> well, they both have the same value, don't they? We have two different sets of coins, but they have the same amount of money in them. Two coins and five coins. But 10p and 10p. Just a different way of making the same amount. Great work today. We've reached the end of our lesson, but I'm going to leave you with a little practice activity. I'd like you to make yourself or draw yourself four purses. I'm going to draw myself four purses. Uh, I'm not the best at drawing, but it doesn't matter. In my purses, I can only put one type of coin in each of them, but they all have to have the same amount of money. So I remember, I'm going to write 1p on that purse. The only coins I can put in there are 1p coins. This one's going to be my 2p purse. I can only put 2p coins in there. 5p purse. What do you think can go in there? Yeah, my 5p's and my 10p's are going to go in there. Whatever I make in one of these purses, I have to have the same value in my other ones too, but just in different coins. I look forward to seeing how you got on with this next time. Bye.